three, two, one. Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. My name is Chenin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. In this video, I'm going to talk about free machine learning courses provided by Amazon Machine Learning University. And without further ado, we're starting right now. Okay, so yesterday I saw this on my tweet. So it is from the Amazon Science. It is saying that classes from Amazon's Machine Learning University or MLU that was previously only available to employees are now available to the public via on-demand videos. Okay, and so let's have a look at the webpage. So they're providing the general background about machine learning and its application. So before we begin, maybe a little bit about machine learning. So machine learning can be thought of as like the brains of artificial intelligence. So you might have heard that AI or artificial intelligence can do this, do that intelligently. So how can it really actually do it? So it relies on the capabilities of machine learning algorithms to learn from the data and make decision on the basis of such data. And so we call this as data driven. And so some of the practical utilization of machine learning by Amazon includes the Amazon Go, which is a supermarket where you can go in, take the items that you need directly from the shelf, and then there will be cameras installed throughout the store. So it will record what you have taken. And then you could just put it in your bag and then just walk out of the store. So without even going through the cashier, okay, because everything is done automatically via computer vision and machine learning. And so actually machine learning university was started by Amazon in 2000. 2016. And so the objective of the Machine Learning University from Amazon was to provide its staff members updated information about machine learning. Okay, so let's have a look further. And so what is the platform for the Machine Learning University by Amazon? And it is actually a YouTube channel called Machine Learning University. And so this is one of the first course on Machine Learning University, and it is on natural language processing. And the instructor of the course is Sam Sasara. And he is a applied scientist at the Machine Learning University at AWS or Amazon Web Service Deep Engine Science. And the second course is Machine Learning University course on computer vision. And the instructor is Rachel Hu, who is an applied scientist at the Amazon Web Service Deep Engine Science. And the third course is on tabular data. And the instructor of the course is Paula Gradinu, who is a technical training specialist. Okay, so I'm going to provide you the link of this machine learning university by Amazon in the video description. Okay, so let's have a look at the website. Let's click on machine learning university. And we're going to be directed to this. Okay, let's click on the main page. Okay, so in the main page here, you will see that the YouTube page is called Machine Learning University and there is 4,240 subscribers. And so this is growing at a very exponential rate because considering that videos were just recently published. So here we see that only a week ago, videos were uploaded. And so you're gonna see that some of the videos, the views are not yet high because it's only a week. And there are several videos as you will see here. So the video provided here are not uploaded in sequential order. So you want to click on the playlist in order to have access to the three courses that I have mentioned. And here you will see the tabular data playlist, which is comprised of 16 videos. And then you're gonna see that there is the natural language processing comprising of 26 videos and computer vision consisting of 27 videos. So let's have a look at the first course, tabular data. And then you're gonna see the 16 videos on the side panel here. And the first lecture is an introduction, the course introduction, and it's only three minutes. And then the second is going to be on introduction to machine learning. Okay, so this will be very important for the newcomer to the field. So you're going to get a glimpse of what machine learning has to offer. And then you're going to learn about model evaluation. So model evaluation is where you have already built your machine learning model, and then you're going to have to evaluate the performance of your model. Okay, like for example, if you have regression, if you have classification, how are you going to evaluate whether your model is reliable, they are robust, and they have good performance. Okay, so I notice here that the subsequent lectures are not really in order of difficulty. So they're pretty random. So you're gonna see that they're gonna teach you about model evaluation, 
but they haven't really taught you how to build a model yet. And then, and then actual exploratory data analysis should come before model evaluation. So I think it's just a matter of reorganizing, reshuffling the order of the videos in the list. Okay, so probably you might want to watch Introduction to Machine Learning and then hop on to the exploratory data analysis. And so EDA will give you a general glimpse of the overall characteristics of the data. So generally you will apply descriptive statistics and you'll also make use of data visualization to see the relative distribution of the data. Okay, and then there will be K nearest neighbors and then a lecture on looking ahead. So I think this is probably kind of like the conclusion of this course. So it probably it should be at the bottom, okay? And then you have using Jupyter Notebook on SageMaker. Okay, so SageMaker is a platform by Amazon Web Service for data scientists. And so here, 2.1, okay, it's introduction. Oh, okay, so they have numbered it. So I guess they're probably ordering it according to the numbers here, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, until 1.6. Okay, so probably they have their own reason for ordering it in such a way. Okay, so let's have a look further. All right, and then they have section 2.1 and then they have the introduction. So probably that was the first section and then this is the second section. Okay, so probably they have already included information on how to build the model in 1.2. And then they will talk about model evaluation. Okay, so in section 2.1, they have an introduction again, and then they're going to cover more advanced topics. Okay, so here we have feature engineering, and then we have tree-based models, and then we have hyperparameter tuning, and then a brief introduction about the Amazon Web Service SageMaker. Okay, and then they have section 3.1, an introduction, and then a lecture on optimization, regression models, Let's have a look what it says. And regularization. Let's talk about machine learning model optimization. All right. And then they have 3.3 is ensemble methods boosting. And then finally, neural networks. And the popular term that we hear a lot these days is auto ML. Okay. All right. So this is the tabular data. Let's have a look at the playlist for other course. Let's have a look for the courses in natural language processing. All right, so there's 26 videos here. So let's go over the videos that are provided here. So 1.1 is the course introduction to natural language processing. 1.2 is introduction to machine learning. So probably you could take the course in whatever order that you like. So it doesn't mean that you have to take tabular data first and then take natural language processing because they're providing the introduction directly in each of the courses here. So they're pretty much independent of one another. All right, so 1.2 is the introduction to machine learning. 1.1 was the course introduction. And so 1.3 is machine learning applications. 1.4, they're gonna cover about the learning approaches comprising of the supervised and unsupervised learning. Okay, so class imbalance is very important, particularly when your number of samples that are belonging to class A and class B are not equal. And when they're not equal, then the machine learning algorithm might be a bit confused in classifying the data samples. So there will be inherent bias by the model. So in order to tackle the problem of class imbalance, then there are ways for you to do that, such as oversampling and undersampling. So in oversampling, you probably will have to up the number of samples in the class that have the fewer samples. For example, if you have 100 data samples in class A, 200 data samples in class B, then you want to increase the number of data samples in class A from 100 to become 200. So now they're both 200, okay? And so in undersampling, you're going to reduce the number of data samples in class B from 200 to 100. So now it has the same number at 100. Okay, so let's continue. And then 1.6 will be on missing values. 1.7, model evaluation. 1.9, machine learning and text. 1.10, text pre-processing. 1.11, text vectorization. 1.12, again, is K nearest neighbors. And then they're going to have using Jupyter Notebook on SageMaker. So I think it's probably the same video as the previous one. 
and then 2.1 is tree based model 2.2 is regression models 2.3 optimization 2.4 regularization 2.5 hyperparameter tuning 3.1 neural networks 3.2 is word vectors let's talk about hyperparameter all right and then now we have deep learning 3.3 recurrent neural networks 3.4 gated recurrent units 3.5 we have long short-term memory networks all right and then we have 3.6 which is transformers 7 is single-headed attention 8 multi-headed attention okay so that's the last video in the natural language processing let's head on back let's have a look at the last one and it is on computer vision okay, so there's 27 videos so Welcome to machine learning. The topic. so here we have the introduction to the course then we have introduction to machine learning and then we have machine learning applications we have supervised and unsupervised learning we have also again imbalanced data so this is again similar to the other course where it is on class imbalance they're the same thing and then 1.6 will be on underfitting, overfitting, and model evaluation. So in the development of your machine learning models, you try to avoid underfitting and overfitting. And so the best way is to have your model generalized well on your data. And then here is computer vision applications, image representation, neuron and activation functions, neural networks, components, and training. So you're going to see that in all of the courses, they're going to cover neural networks in pretty much different difficulty level, from the beginner's level to the more advanced. 1.11, convolution, filter, padding, stride, and pooling. And then again, using Jupyter Notebooks on SageMaker. So they're probably, as I mentioned, is Welcome the same to video. The first coding and they're just putting it our... into a different playlist. 2.1 is computer vision data sets. 2.2, Lynette, 2.3, AlexNet, 2.4, Transfer Learning. Okay, now it's 3.1, VGG and Batch Normalization. 3.2 is ResNet, the 20th course. 3.3 is Object Detection Applications. 3.4, Bounding Box and Anchor Box. And then Sliding Window Method and Non-Max Suppression. 3.6, region-based convolutional neural network. Okay, in in 3.7, they're going to cover the YOLO or you only look once model. 3.8 is semantic segmentation. 3.9, fully convolutional networks. And the last video is on UNET. All right, so there you have it. You have currently three courses that are available for you to listen to or watch. So Amazon mentioned somewhere in the article that three are currently provided and here nine more will come before the end of the year. So feel free to subscribe to the Machine Learning University channel, which I have also done. And you're going to have access to the remaining nine courses that are going to be released by the end of the year. And so the great thing about this is that it's free and you could follow along when you have spare time and so please make some spare time to learn machine learning if you're finding value in this video please smash the like button subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video and as always the best way to learn data science is to do data science and please enjoy the journey thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one but in the meantime, please check out these videos.